okay, we get that. But you're not going near my vagina until you say this. Until I say when. Until we both agree. You can have a kiss, but you're not going near my breast until that point. Until I say when. when. We can see each other on the weekends, only one day a week, and then once in a week, and that's it. And we can we can talk about any kind of physical release, but you're not getting penetrative sex from me until I'm more comfortable. That's not too much to ask. This video I may have been cut, and I apologize, but I'll put both clips on. Um, why am I doing this? For the simple reason, he might be burning to touch you, burning to have sensation from you, burning to smell. The perfume smell from me is just a bit close. He knows the relationship boundaries are in the friend zone, but he's human too. And for some men, um, we need that physical touch for the escapism if we're gonna go home and do what we need to do. That's not too much to ask. Your vagina is still safe. Your vagina is still safe. If you reach this, this accord before the time and then the friendship grows, you might have a better time when it comes to the guy you actually want to date and your friends separating from you. It will be less painful. I'm not saying you should prostitute yourself, but I am saying you should accept his humanity and sexuality with the disability you also have. Anyway, um, that's where I'm going to leave it. Have a blessed day, guys.